Hi, welcome to the next edition of Jank Tank. Today we're going to be trying out Simic Flash. Like I said last week, um, we are going to be continuing the same trend and um, testing out some uh, Simic or Flash style decks. So either whether it'll be um, Nijitsu Rogues, which I guess, I mean, Ninja, which isn't necessarily Flash oriented, but this one's going to be. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of some new cards, like with the uh, new Drowner, Flood Pit Drowner, what we're trying out in the build. So... This was requested in the MTG Pioneer um, re um, Reddit. So I'm excited to see how this deck plays out in today's Pioneer meta. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future videos. We're on our way to 2,000 subs. Let's get there together. Let's get into this deck list and see the deck in action. So two notable changes as has occurred since last season, right? So last season, we got the Plum Crid Escort, which is a... You know, 2 1 flash, you have something else hexproof, so it's a little bit of protection spell. And we have a mastermind, which is a, the, probably the best flash creature in the game. Uh, we have a couple copies of the new Drowner as a way to have target removal. And then we have our Brazen Borrower, which is just a, a premier pseudo removal slash 3 1. That's a decent clock. Tie Binder and Mystic are our counter creatures. We have Ambusher, because I just love Ambusher. That's the only that's the main reason why I'm playing the deck. Also, we have Deluge. It's just the best um, dig spell in, in blue, other than, of course, Treasure Cruise, which is insane. Uh, we have M Make Disappear for a little bit of counter magic with our Denials, which also could be a pseudo removal spell and a fight spell, as, as a fight spell. Uh, then we have a four Drown uh, Growth Spirals to help ramp us into our Ambushers and Frillbacks, our Frill Mystics, and a little bit of pseudo removal with Fading Hope, which is the best, I think. Um, one mana uh, return target creature ability. You could do Into the Flood Maw if you really wanted to, if you have that in your collection instead of Fading Hopes. Sideboard, though, we do have some couple cages. Pretty good against Phoenix, Coco, Cable's Reconstruction. So good there. Change the equation. Decent against uh, Cheap Things. Also against Green. Two Hearses for Graveyard Heat. Uh, two Sea Sharks for Aggro. Two Lovestruck Beasts, additionally, maybe for Aggro as well. We have Thrun for control, Tie Binder for control, and maybe even mid range. Mystical Dispute for control and combo. That's our deck. Let's see if this deck has what it takes to compete on the pint and the Explorer ranked Q. Let's get into it. Brady Pool Q. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the change in my audio. Like I did get rid of the. The music, as requested in the last few episodes on the channel. Sorry about the ones before that. Uh, I didn't know ahead of time, and I already recorded the other episodes before it. So, we just pass. So, we're facing humans. Oh, reluctant role model. Interesting card. That's a card I definitely want to try. So I think I just take my beats here. Grow Spiral. Try to get to this night. Pack Ambusher. Again, nothing. Go. So that grows the team. And another Thalia's a 10 in it. And this is die, so it's not bounce. We're going to bounce the Thalia. That's a land. So that's good. Take our beads. Probably gets flying. Yeah. Thank you. These ambushes are need to do a lot of work. So that grows the team. And there's Veteran Survivor. Probably by the time this airs, I probably already have um, played humans for page, uh, the hatchlings. So if you're interested in that, Check that video out. So now it probably gains lifelink. Can I even survive? I could definitely bounce the role model. Okay. 
I'm Dej. So against this kind of aggro, I mean, I can counter some things. Uh, I don't think I like Frill back here. That doesn't seem very good. Heart's Desire, I mean, uh, Left Strike Beast does do a decent job of blocking them. We're on the play, so our, our counter magic is a little bit better. Uh, Denial, probably Trim for a She-Shark. Tide Binders for a She-Shark and maybe a Change. I don't like that. So we Breeding Pool Tap, go. Bodyguard. Go. I don't think I want a Fading Hope until post Sea Shark. So I think I just want to take my beats here. Play a Fairy Mastermind. So we play Shark, which is a decent butt, right? So it could block most of their things. Hit ya, go. Initiate, not really what I'm worried about. Values of tenant. Still not really what I'm worried about. Okay, now we're in a good position. So we're gonna go ahead and just attack with a mastermind and say go. See what happens. Hopefully this ambusher does some job some work. Uh that's not good. That's a lord. I don't know what I want to do. They have ward. So they could block like that. Bounce the Vanguard. Maybe I definitely, maybe I should have played this uh, Escort as well. Because then I could have blocked something else, maybe. Like this bodyguard. That was a slight mistake, probably. Let's see if it cost me the game. Okay. Goop. Yeah, I probably should have done that. That would have been a little bit better. So if I did this here, I could sack this. Could turn on this and sack. That is my option. That seems pretty reasonable, actually. All right, let's see what you got. All right, so now you could pay for that. Question is, you have another card that's good. Ooh, that's that's like the worst case scenario there. So you get back the Vanguard. So I think I block here. That's a profitable exchange. So I take five. Get rid of two of his threats. Go. Question is, am I dead? I can tap down the... No, I can't tap down the Mute Vault. Okay. I'm going to answer my Incubator token. Mm. If I do this, tap here. This can't even attack. Um, so I have to tap down one of these. If I play this, trade here. That's death, right? So I have to literally play this. Tap down, probably it's a tenant. He could turn on the Muta Vault, which he might get me to one. All right, so. How do I block? Here, no, no, that, that's death. Uh... So that is my out. I lose my entire board though. And specialist is dealt with. 
I'm staying alive. Just barely, though. I'm dead, though. Okay, scoop it up. Owed one. Let's get into the next. Through PayPal, I'm offering for $20 all your deck through League. I also give you a article about how to improve the list, and as well as some sideboard guides in very particular matchups. If you want to check out the link, it's in the description. Now, let's get back into the video. He sacks the harvest. Probably racked with aggro? Wait a minute. Man, have I been in the wrong mode the entire time? I'm so sorry, guys. Go. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry. So we dropped down Mastermind. Drowner. Tap that down so it doesn't... So we can't tap and sack it. So this is Rakdos, or Jund, sack. It's into attack. You could definitely block. I'm perfectly fine with that exchange. Go. I'm so sorry about that. So one match is in the wrong... Man, I am bad at this today. Sure, that's good. That does not answer my ambusher, which is kind of all I care about right now. So we play our ambusher. Shocks himself. Okay, so he has no more black mana. Oven. So no answer to ambusher, that's good. Hit ya. Go. Make another wolf. So cat is like his best top deck. Somehow he finds it he finds a cat. To go with a stupid oven. Alright, we are not drawing lands, or non-land cards. I doubt he makes any kind of trades here. He just probably just chumps the big wolf It takes three. Or it takes two, essentially, because he does gain two from the cat, and one gains one from the cat coming back. We get another body, so that's good. Okay, so he goes to nine. I I would like to find an online card, please. Any of them. Any of them in my deck would be fine. Okay, he gets rid of his Yigra. So that's fine, right? Because he cares more about probably getting us to level 3. Harvester. He can copy the Harvester. Which means he gets to answer my Ambusher. Oh, that's not good. That's, like, that's, my, that's the only reason why I'm playing this deck. I'm kidding. It is a good main main reason why I love this deck, though. Okay. Go to combat. Shove in there. Question is, what am I answering? He's, he's gonna make that trade? Seems a little weird. Why even risk your harvester when you can just keep copying it with reflection kiki jiki? I guess he doesn't care, right? Because he just... Trying to get this eager back. So let's go ahead and fight. Get rid of the reflection. Go. I don't know if we could win from here, though. Like, our, He has a much better board presence than we do. We have the absence of a board presence. <laughs> Another harvester. So he was planning on just casting the harvester. I mean... Perfectly fine, which makes a lot of sense. Brazen Borrower. Two. Yeah, so we're fine. So what I think I'm going to do here is just bounce his talent when he, once he levels it up. Um, and then cast a Brazen Borrower on his end step. Take him to six. So he's trying to desperately find another cat.
I don't even remember whose turn this is. Is it his or mine? Oh, it's his. It's, no, now it's his turn. Man, that was such a long sequence I didn't even know. The issue is I can't really wait until exactly the end step. Um, just because of the fact that this goes on the stack at the beginning of the end step. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to answer. I wanted to bounce up before it went to the end step. But I guess at least that prevents him from getting three sack triggers. Or six cards getting milled. So that's kind of nice. So we get to Brazen Borrower. Not sure if that matters. Hmm, that's not helpful. <laughs> I guess it could be helpful if he sacks. <sighs> he sacks the Harvester to try to take out my Brazen Borrower. I'm going to probably protect it. It's also a pretty good uh, blocker at instant speed. So two talents. And levels one up. Should we go ahead and escort? Get my brain and borrower hexproof. Block. So another oven. I can't really do this correctly at all, right? So if we even have played this. Gotcha. Alright, so he goes starts to mill himself, and there's another cat. We lose. I'm off. Okay, Tidebinder's okay. Hearse, ca Cage, I think. And essentially, that's it. What's actually, it's actively bad in this matchup. Bro, Mystic is probably too slow. Honestly, I probably should just cut this from the deck, but I just really like this card. It's such a, it goes like a callback to the most simplest times in Magic. One Hope, May Disappear, and Denial, run it like that. Boy, Land, go. Talent, huh? I could play the hearse here, but I really want to get to the ambusher. I am definitely not playing optimally in that regard. I just love my ambusher. Well, that sucks. I can't even get to it. All right, play the hearse. Go. I mean, that is the only card actually in my hand that plays at sorcery speed, so. It is probably correct to get it down out of the way. Okay. Pass the turn. Get rid of a cat. Interesting. Get rid of a cat. Deadly Disputes. That's like desperation right there. Just so he gets the cat back. Doesn't matter what I do here, it's still going to get that back. Oh, he still lets it go by anyways. Okay. I'm so confused by that play then. All right, so here comes another Fable the Mirror Breaker. And he targets me with the talent. Gets rid of another Ambusher. Smack. He's gonna chomp? Okay. Go. Makes another food. So we get to get a wolf. And he gets to discard some more cards. I'm not sure what I want to do here on my turn. Or on his turn. I could play a Drowner, tap the Reflection, and then maybe get down a Mastermind. There's no world where I want to bounce a Reflection, I don't think. 
and reset the peer value. And that kind of answers something for me. So he bounced the talent. So he's welcome to just recast the talent. Harvester. Eat the duress in the dispute. Play a drowner. Get tap the reflection. So let's get shuffled back in. Smack you. You could trade. With my little token. Yeah, that's good with me. Smack, go. Make another token, so. That's pretty decent. This feels a lot better of a matchup than the previous one. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Okay. Yeah, those are not treasures. Now you can talent. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat the Yigra. Scoops it up. Run it back. All right, march into talent, huh? Go. I'm not sure if this hand's gonna get there. I mean, we are very behind, being on the on the play. We just pass the turn. Maybe make disappear gets a fable. That's like my best turn for two, so take it. Pass. Hey, why am I? That's not a big deal. I don't think I even played many enchantments. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, I have hearse, so. But. But even in that regard, it's not very good against it, right? Because it says non-creature artifact. So I could just crew and, and make it a creature. So we're just going to get frisky past the turn. Maybe growth spirals are a little too cute in this deck. Maybe it should just be more counter magic. Yeah, that's fine. Shocks himself. Higra. Counter it. It's going to grow spiraled. Pass the turn. I want him to pay into the talent before bouncing it and resetting his cat. Okay. That's perfect. So now we bounce it. Play Merfolk. Tap down the Harvester. Shove in there. He trades. Okay. Pass. So recast the talent. He still has a food, which is to be ex expected, you know. Blank is his deck, so he probably gets the cat back. Go ahead and grow spiral. Hmm. Not helpful. In the in the uh, he goes ahead and mills himself. No cats, please. We we'll go ahead and play a borrower. You can sack those three things and get back a big cat, and just pray he finds some other permanent. So now he has two cats. He has a food, so I guess he just wins. Okay. Oh, and two. Let's get into the next. I am now offering Patreon and locals content exclusive. It includes signboard guides, budget guides, exclusive videos, as well as 
other types of content. If you want to check out the link, it's in the description. Now, let's get back into the video. All right, so I made some adjustments here. Let's see how this actually pans out. I feel like my curve was too high. So, see how that pans out with these changes. And Sailor does give me a card that does allow me to draw. So, that's good. Imagine he takes three steps ahead. So, hopefully this deck performs better in this matchup. I don't think this is aggro based off that lead. So, smack. Go. Banky will go ahead and draw. Actually found a Deluge. That's interesting. Hit ya. Go. Now what? Thoughtseize. Let's go ahead and play the Escort. I mean, I don't really care what he takes out of my hand. Um, Deluge is good later. I mean, sure, you take, you take my Torch, but... It still targets itself, gates Hexproof. So 2-1. I mean, Growth Spiral is not very useful right now. Probably takes my Deluge. Just to push it out. And my thought... Okay, Fading Hope. Well, that sucks. Um... I need to land. Hmm. Fable. Keep hitting you. I think I'm doing all right when it comes to at least my clock against his life total, but this interference I think is better than make disappear. It's more threats, additional counter spell. Counter it. Hit you to four. Go. We have lethal. He has no interaction, of course. It's very unlikely he does, you know, have nothing. A mastermind? You have removal. Looks like a fatal push. Alright, better triumph. So he's out of cards in hand. So he hit you to two. And I'm not sure how he gets out of the situation. I guess clean the dust is a way to gain a little bit of life. So you can go to five, which means I can't win this turn. I have to push off another turn. Uh, do I even care about this? <laughs> Let's go ahead and just loot. Get rid of the ambusher. We finally hit our fourth land drop. Not sure what that means for me, but. On his instep, we could play Double Drowner. All right, that's a little interesting. I don't know if that counters that or not. I don't think so, right? What does this do? Counter up one target activated or triggered ability. 
Eh, we'll just do it. Don't know if that works or not. Nope. Yeah, so it's good. It's all good. We got a tie binder. That's all that matters. And I have enough. Doesn't either way it still is still pretty reasonable. I guess he can't. He can't do it again, right? Next turn, he would have to do something else. So unless he has something to win the game, I think he would get there. Because I have two drowners to tap two things down. Either way, I think actually it's about the same amount of uh, importance there. Okay, that's just like desperation. Sure. I'm at five. You got me. Transmog. Short. Should we tap here? This one comes down. Tap here. He should do Bank Buster. Maybe I should have done Bank Buster in response. Actually, I couldn't have, right? Yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. Okay, so those are still tapped down. See what happens now. Do you have an answer to my tight Binder? You have three cards in hand. I have Lethal on board. I have one Drowner that you're not aware of yet. I don't think so. I guess he can cast his own dr my Drowners on me. That sucks. Oh, he wins. That's a nice little maneuver. Nothing I could have done there. All right, so this matchup... That's not helpful. Nothing I could do stops Transmog. I guess this counters it. But is that worse than anything I am already playing? Not really. I mean, is this better than a Tide Binder? Not really. I have Counter Magic. So that's basically what I'm on. Maybe I actually just cut the Growth Spirals. Go up, change the equation. Then we could play something like Love Struck Beast to close the game out a little bit faster. Actually, I like She Shark more. And then maybe a single Thrun. Play at Coast Go. Tap land. Sure. Go. Banky. Counter it. Okay, another situation where I don't have lands. Another bank buster. A volley, huh? Yeah, I'm not finding lands. Again. Seems like I have a lot of problems. Sure. Let's bounce. That's a land. Keep it. Go. Alright, so I think that might turn things around a little bit. These three steps ahead should be... Relatively decent and make sure we could get our next land drop. I don't think I give a crap about that. So I don't think I care about this. Um, yeah, th there we go. There's another land. That's good. Get rid of the Thrun. I don't think that's going to be the where I'm at this game. Oh, now we're just drawing lands. Just good. That's good. Um... Maybe that means we can win this game. Draws. Question is, does he have his transmog in hand? Which probably means he wins. We're not a very good deck into it, his deck in particular, right? You just shoving in there? Sure. Play an ambusher. Attempt to eat the immutable. Good old ambusher. What do you gotta say now? Ah, uh, 
transmog. That probably means a GG's. Dude, what, do, what do I even have that answers that? I can make a board of, I guess, wolves. Three memory deluge. And borrower? So you don't get anything. So we have a way to answer the Yog. Balgavolf. Um, besides that, like, we're going to be taking some huge hits here. So you, the Deluge isn't very good. So you thought he's my Brazen Borrower. <laughs> Talk about hitting the best possible card. What, you have removal split? Yeah, Brazen Borrower, of course. Oh my gosh. That was a huge tempo loss. Not much I could do. I mean, that's nine, so I'm going to be like, what? Eight, okay. I'm dead next turn. I can't night, I can't ambush her. Go. So if I boom, boom, this. Oh my gosh, is that non land? Yeah, so I can't sack my lair. Draws. The issue is I can't do anything about this, right? So even if I play double spell, I can't seem to get this Valgavoth to be tapped. That loses my entire board. So I sack all three of them, I can't even get the shuffle effect, which is what I have to have to happen. But I can't, I guess not, not do it. But I don't have a board state. Like I said, this is like the worst possible matchup for this deck. Um, actually, this is like literally Transmog's best matchup because we don't make enough tournaments to make this actually good, good and competitive. So we're stuck in this loop right here where we're, we're basically down on board. And then he's going to play his own ambusher, my own ambusher on me. Mm-mm. Yeah, this is definitely a jank day deck. Okay, I'm not dead. Yeah, I'm not dead. He draws. Can I turn this around at all? I'm at two. All right, case. I can't counter that. I kind of have to have my phantom to make a two two to block this. Mm. That's not useful. Actually, we died to the skeleton. Because we don't have enough blockers. Touche. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, we're basically 2. We're just we're 0 and 3. Even with those adjustments, we're just not fast enough. Especially in this matchup where it's our worst matchup. Let's get into the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about this deck overall? We went 0-3. Oh, uh, key things to take away from this deck is for one, uh, without black, the deck, any most decks struggle. Um, and it has, still has the biggest problem with Simic, which is the interaction in Simic is not really working together in a good, positive way. Um, so, like normal, like 
The growth spirals are fine in, in general, but blue's interaction and green's interaction aren't great when it comes to removal. And that definitely has a huge impact on how this deck actually performs, especially in a racked with aggro dominated meta. Uh, we did manage to put something together against the slow deck, like Jun Sacrifice, um, more so than the others. Uh, but besides a aggro deck, we faced our worst possible matchup with Transmog. Uh, we can counter the Transmog. That's essentially all we could do. But once they get a, once they get the giant nine nine flasher, I mean the giant nine nine with that ward, we just can't deal with it. We we could have a mass balance effect in the sideboard. Um, maybe that's reasonable, or maybe I should have tied binder the ward trigger. Does that work? <laughs> maybe that would maybe that would work. Um, maybe not. But that's like the biggest problem with the deck. Like against aggro, we could bring love Strike beast in. Um, I cut one Thrun on the board for another copy of the Escort. I cut it from the, the one in the main um, to get some room for some one drops like uh, Sailor, which is a little bit of card of draw engine, which is one of the main problems I've seen in the deck in general. And I cut a Ambusher and the other Frill Mist, the Frill Mystics, because I just don't think they're good enough at four mana. So I wanted to lower my curve and put another Delusion here to make sure we find ways of keep turning through our deck and finding counter spells and interaction like three steps ahead. Um, that was a nice little addition at the end there. I wonder if we actually would have had that in the beginning. Might have won a match. I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I do think the deck is kind of struggling since the fact that it doesn't have black or red or white interaction, which is just like the premier ways of going about it. You could go Bant and you could have decent opportunities. You could go Sultai or just playing Demir Flash. There is has been a Esper Flash deck going around. It's gotten some five O's. Um, so that could be a possibility as well. Uh, Mono Blue might even be better than than, than the Simic. Um, if you cut the Ambushers, bring the new Enduring creature. Um, that could maybe be a possibility here. Uh, I just don't have any copies on Arena. And uh, so that could be a, an option if you wanted to go that route. Uh, and then you could, of course, make it Orza, I mean, Azorius. And you cut the growth spirals, add some um, uh, No More Lies. And then you could just, maybe that's the best way of building it. Uh, but at that point, I think you're just kind of building a worse version of Spirits. So that I think that's the biggest gimmick about this deck, right? It's Simic Flash, but the problem is, like, how do you make this deck better than Spirits? Which does the whole um, Flash gimmick in blue. So I want to know what you guys think about this all down in the comment section. Um, and uh, this week we have some spicy decks coming up. Um, if you have not, and plus we're having some more decks uh, over on my uh, the pay, behind the paywall as well. Uh, so this week we also have I got P and Delore and Atarka Red are dropping this week as well. If those interest you, and uh, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Shout out to all my supporters. And if you want to see any other content from me, check out either one of these two videos and playlist. And I'll talk to you soon.